just winging um, the eyeliner a little bit and I'm going to smudge it out with number 11 brush in the Tika line. For a smoky look? Yeah, a little bit more of a smoky look with a liner because when you use a colored liner, you really don't want to use shadow. So I've just used the um, shadow base on you to highlight your eye and then this beautiful teal color. It's called Noble. Um, and it's a, like I said, it's a gel liner in a pencil form, so it's very easy to use. And just draw it on your hand for the bottom. Look up for me, Kelly. And then just smudge it on the bottom. And it really turns out pretty. You don't want the bottom line to be as stark as the top line. So if you do it like I'm doing it, you get a beautiful finish. And try to connect the top to the bottom. There you I'm go. I'm going to intensify the eyeliner a little bit because I think it looks a little bit better when you just brighten it up a little bit more. And I'm going to do a little bit more on the bottom, exactly the same way I did the other eye. I'm going to smudge it on my hand, take the brush, draw it from there. Open your eye, Kelly. This teal color just looks so pretty on her. And again, the color is called Noble. Okay. Did you do my wing? Yeah, I did the wing. Oh, nice. Close. You can accentuate it as much as you want. You can wing it all the way up to here if you'd like. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to transition from um, summer to fall. We need to accentuate the face a little bit more. And we start looking a little bit sallow because we start losing our natural tan that happens whether you know, you're out in the sun or not. It just happens in the summer. So we put a little bit of this matte bronze on the face, just literally on the cheeks going up like this. You don't want it all over. You just kind of want to accentuate um, and define the face a little bit. Okay, so you can actually see it as soon as I apply it. You can see how Kelly's um, face here is a little bit more defined. And just a little bit, like I said. And then you add a little bit of blush. Um, and this blush that I'm using, it's called Posy. And it's also one of the Tika colors. And now we're just going to pop some color on her right here. And Kelly's going to be ready for fall. The next thing we're going to do is her lips to really get her ready. But see how the bronzer right down here defined her face a little bit and then the blush just made her glow a little bit. So it's very, very even and it's flawless. The hottest things ever coming out for fall are these liquid lipsticks. And I chose um, brown sugar for Kelly because since we did a teal eye, I don't want her to look painted with this other color called Pumpkin Spice, which is a very good color for her skin. But with the teal eyes, I chose to go with this one. And uh, brown the brown sugar. Yeah, the brown sugar and the Pumpkin Spice. I mean, that'd be really good if you wore brown liner and black liner. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this on. These go on very easy. They stay on and they feel great on the lips and they have a really nice smell to them. Open your lips a little bit more. You've got a lot of lip here. Beautiful lips. Again, these are liquid lipsticks. They're new for fall. They're absolutely awesome and very, very long lasting. Open a little bit more so I can get the Now, for the ladies that um, get lipstick on their teeth, and this is easier for you to apply than for somebody else to apply it on you, just to let you know. But if you have a problem with getting lipstick on your teeth, all you have to do is stick your finger in your mouth, stick it in your mouth, uh -huh, and pull it out, and see? That means it would have gotten on her teeth. So now it won't get on her teeth, and look how beautiful that finish is.